In the top right, playing Valdor, we have Stargen versus Wargarbly. In the bottom left, playing Emmerich. They are playing on Thieves' Den. One of the newer maps coming out. We have pretty early standard opening. It's very low income at the start, so people are just building swords. They're really moving forward. This area up here is going to be pretty difficult to block. So nobody's building rifles or anything. Or thieves, for that matter. Just going for a lot of... Ooh, that's a big forward capture on that village over there. But Baldur doesn't have a lot of health, so... He isn't going to be able to threaten these swords. These swords are going to be able to do stuff like that early on. And he isn't even going to be able to get Groove up in time to knock villages down. Or I say Groove, his health even won't be high enough to knock any villages down for a bit. So yeah, both players just... They're going to like try and do as much damage as they can early on. Just while their enemy commanders are on low health. Ooh, does knock down that village. The build Groove. Would have had Groove at the end of this turn anyway, so it's not really the biggest deal. But knocking a village down is always good. 100 income right there. Oh, and now the income's really exploded. That early sword spam. Just allowing for a big economy game. Now we've got Stargen. Getting a balloon and a bunch of spears, actually. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think Boulder should have just that in the forest and summoned a sword or even just summoned a sword from his current position. Baldur, there's no reason to hold his groove whatsoever. Just be constantly using that whenever it's off cooldown unless you need to heal. Sturgeon, not dropping the spears yet. That's interesting. Just keeping them in the balloon. Ooh, that dog's being way too aggressive as well. I think both of these dogs are. They're just going to go down pretty easily. Sword gets killed for free. Move another sword to block in front of the mage. Knocks down that village. The war garbly playing pretty well. He has his rifle out as well. So that's going to come and get ballooned to the front line. And yeah, there was just a bunch of smaller units getting killed pretty early on. Rise from this is looking grave. very one-sided at this point in time. Boulder has not been able to use his groove until this point. This is turn 8. Ideally, it should always be used on turn 6 or sooner than that. This should protect us! Emmerich yeah, getting his groove up. Double sword crit. Gonna do a lot of damage. Moves his whole army up in front. These are all mountain tiles for Emmerich, so. He's just gonna position in a huge threatening spot where he can basically get ready to attack the enemy HQ. Sergeant does have a golem though, so he could do some work. But unless he can deal with that crystal, it's going to be really tough. But he, he did a bunch of decent counter attack damage there. Boulder isn't quite under a huge amount of threat yet. This golem isn't going to go down anytime soon. War Goblin, he just has so much stuff. Takes down that mage for free. That balloon's not going to be long for this world. And even things like the air units are getting plus defense. And this is the only circumstance they'll ever get that. Damn, even attacking the enemy commander with a sword. That's when you know they feel confident. And yeah, Stargen, I think if those two dogs he threw away earlier, if he had those right now, he'd be in a little bit of a better spot, but... It's hard to break a fortified position like this.
Ooh, big hex coming out. He uses heal. I think we're going to see a dead boulder. Yeah. Mage crit. And Rex is going to finish him off. GG to War Garbly. Sergeant just throwing a few too many units away early on. And yeah, it just snowballed from there. Like, Baldo should have checked Discords. 